After my first fight, there was a hunger. I didn't start training because I wanted to fight. I did it because I wanted to grow as a person. The better I got and the more discipline I got, I started to see this is what I love to do and I could make a career out of this. So it was a natural progression to become a professional fighter for me. One of the first guys I studied was Jack Johnson, you know? At the time he fought, he was the first black champion ever. They were still lynching black people. And for him, he was driving fast cars. He made a lot of money. He had a lot of women. And he was just an icon and a symbol of, of black power at that time to be the world champion. Of course, Muhammad Ali, rest in peace. It was his spirit, his charisma, his attitude, his character. I studied that so much. As far as MMA goes, I've never necessarily studied MMA fighters and watched their fights and careers progress. I see certain fighters who are at the top of the game, it's easy to see why they're successful. Guys like John Bones Jones, George St. Pierre, I see the martial art in him. I see the will and the skill and the characteristics that come with being a true martial artist, you know, and not just a fighter. I grew up in a West Indian household, Jamaican father, big Jamaican family very close to that side of my family and it's always just felt that connection. I feel like it's part of who I am. When I was a kid with a lot of energy, you know, and I was really into fighting, like into wrestling, into rough play, into, I just liked that. That was just how I expressed myself. I was always getting in trouble for it. But the older I got, I started to be more defiant to authority. I started to have a distaste for authority. I wanted to be my own person, do my own thing. So as a teen, as I got older, started running with certain crowds, doing certain things, started getting in trouble, you know, leading me in the wrong direction. And I wasn't really sure what I was doing with my life, but I was kind of headstrong that, no, I don't want to do this, what everyone's telling me to do, I want to do that. I ended up in prison. I got arrested a couple times, and then the last time I couldn't get out, and I spent uh, about three months there. I've come close to death a couple times. I've, I've someone cut me here in my, in my ear. I, I, I could have bled out but I didn't, thank God. I've been shot at, ran from police, I've almost been hit by cars. I've been a lot of different dangerous scenarios. When you're young, you do a lot of stuff that if you think about today, you would never do it again, right? But three months, a lot of time to reflect, you're not doing anything. Every day is the same routine, same people, same story. So I was reflecting on my life and I see that the choices I was making is why I was where I was. And then I remember waking up one day and be like, oh, I'm in jail, what am I doing here? Like, why am I in jail right now? And why did I wake up today like this was normal? I got used to it. And then I reflected on that and I knew that I had to make a change. Sitting in, a, in jail with a very negative place, you know, it's, it's not a progressive place. I felt like there was something greater for me. And if I continue doing the stuff I'm doing, then I'm gonna continue getting the same results. So I decided I was gonna change my, my lifestyle and the things I was doing. And when I got out at the time, I didn't know what career, what, what I wanted to do. All I knew is I wanted to do two things. I wanted to finish high school and I wanted to go back and continue to train Muay Thai, which I had done for about three months when I was 16 and I stopped. But I took something from it that I held on to, and I felt I needed to connect back with that it would help steer me in the direction I needed to. I always believed that God always had a path and a plan for me, you know? Although I went through so many dangerous and different things, it's like, I always came out of it just okay, just fine. And I never got in too much trouble. I never put myself in a situation I couldn't come out of. I have a foundation, it's called Walk Like a Champion Foundation. I came up with the concept actually in 2010, when I was in Thailand. I just felt my path is going to lead me to a place where I'm going to be leading. I designed a foundation uh, directed more towards kids and youth, not only, but more directed towards the youth. And it's about giving back to people what I've gotten so much from, martial arts. I believe martial arts is such a powerful tool in transforming people and, and teaching us the right way to live. I'm opening a gym next year, April time. So when the gym's open, I'll be running the program fully on my gym. I'll have kids come in and training. It will be completely funded, not a non-profit thing. And I'm just looking to give back to what I've gained so much from. Before I come out to my fight, I take a little time just to relax, breathe, meditate, whatever, just to clear my mind, charge my energy, and affirm what my job is. 
my mind is already 100% focused at that point and determined that I'm going to win. For me, it's more about how I win, you know? I already know I'm going to do everything I can to win. That's not a doubt in my mind. I'm going to try my hardest. For me, it's about staying in a place that I can think and be creative and focus on the job at hand. So when I'm coming out and there's people all around making noise, I hear people calling my name, this, that, and the other, but for the most part, I'm just focused on what I have to do next. I try to block out everything. And when you're in the ring, you have to face yourself, right? In life, that's what martial arts is about. It's teaching you how to take on life in every aspect. Not just about the person across from you, but really you're facing yourself. You're facing your own fear, you're facing your own doubts. Whatever is in you, that's what you have to face, not the person across the ring. Going through adversity in life, going through hard times, times when, when you're not sure if, if you're gonna make it, it builds a certain confidence that, you know what, I can make it through anything. I am able to overcome any situation, you know? I am able to come out of a negative situation and make it into a positive. That is part of who I am and I carry that with me in the ring and I carry that with me everywhere I go. I'm Simon Marcus, Glory Middleweight World Champion, and you're watching FanaticsView.com. If you're looking to follow me, you can see my website, www.simon-marcus.com. You could also see me on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook, Simon Marcus N O one, Simon Marcus number one. You know, I'm always posting. You can see my training, my uh, fights coming up. Keep up to date with what's going on in the city and with the youth program. Stay tuned. Lots of stuff to come.